And I tell you, it's a great privilege to introduce another great patriot. I've known this gentleman since about March, and the moment I heard his story, I couldn't help but have a deep felt respect. This is a man who served our country for 20 years overseas on 11 combat deployments in the Special Forces, and he made the ultimate sacrifice, I think, that he is a gold star husband. He lost his wife, who is fighting for our country in Syria. Now he's running for Congress in Washington's 3rd Congressional District. He's a remarkable gentleman, and I, I urge you to heed, listen to and heed his words. Please give us some applause for Joe Katz. Thank you all so much for being out here. We're all here for the same reason, because we know our brothers and sisters, our fellow Americans, regardless of what walk of life they're from, what political party they're from, have the God-given right to due process. That's in our Constitution. Amen. Those rights were given by God, not by man. Man cannot take them away. But we have to fight for them like we're doing right now. We're peacefully out here fighting, making our voices heard. I'm an honor to be a small part of it. I'm out here because, like Matt said in his great introduction, I had the opportunity and the privilege to serve this country for a little bit over 20 years. And when I was serving this country, the thing that I had in common with those I went to war with was that we are all Americans. Our political leaders, they didn't think twice about sending us off on useless, endless wars that were of no gain. But all of us joined, all of us fought, many of us died, many of us still carry the scars from war for one reason. We believe in this country, we believe in that flag, we believe in everything that it stands for. And when there is an injustice done to any of our brothers and sisters, our fellow citizens, when their constitutional rights are taken, if we do not speak out against that, we are guilty of standing by and watching those rights erode. Make no mistake, what governments do overseas, they will do here, and they've already started. It's banana republic stuff when political prisoners are arrested and denied due process. That happens overseas all the time. Unfortunately, we conducted operations like that when I was in Iraq serving overseas, and it did nothing but further radicalize people. It is very dangerous. We, our founders gave us protections in our Constitution to make sure that those things did not happen here in America. But that is running off the rails right now because too many Americans just think that it's not their business. I'm not part of that political party, so I'll let those guys get detained and have their due process denied. That's not the way this works. This is a slippery slope, and we are on it right now and if we don't start fighting back and pushing back call your elected officials call your representatives show up at every single rally that look like look ahead america is having for these political prisoners be their voice because it's not even just about them it's about our forefathers who gave us these rights who fought revo who fought the revolution it's about every single veteran who's ever deployed overseas who's ever been killed it's for everyone in arlington national cemetery Amen. and it's for all these law enforcement officers too the law enforcement officers are on the front lines every single day defending our rights they're defending our rights putting their lives on the line day in day out i'm extremely grateful for all of them that are here today i'm extremely grateful for all of them that were present on January 6th. They are not our enemies. Our, our enemies are those that will deny people of their constitutional rights and then take a narrative that labels all of us as terrorists or insurrectionists for just questioning things. It's our it's our God-given right and duty as American to, re, to actually question things, to question the narrative. That's our job. I can't thank all of you enough for being out here. Keep the shoulder to the wheel. We are the majority of the country. Keep speaking out. We will take this country back. God bless America. Thank you. USA! USA! USA!